Hi friends, this is Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping and Stuff, and I am so excited about today's project. I have been dreaming of this for months, and I hadn't taken the time to sit down and create it. I'm so glad that I finally did it. So our project today is going to be this frame that you could display in your home somewhere or use as gifts. These things will be amazing gifts. And I made it with the Stampin' Up's Arrange a Wreath Bundle and these Wreath Builder dies. So this, I love that this set has things for all seasons in it. It has the really pretty wreath, of course. And then we have little uh, pictures for different seasons. Leaves, flowers, Easter eggs, pears, the little hearts, and greetings to coordinate with them. And then the die set has even more fun things to add in. So there's a second wreath. There are uh, little bows, there are flowers, there are poinsettias. Uh, I was so glad the poinsettia was in here since we didn't have Christmassy images in the stamp set. But let's talk about this project and how I used it for these fun little frames. First, let's talk about the frame. I found this frame at the dollar store. I knew I wanted a square frame for this, but if you don't find a square frame, you could definitely use a four by six. And instead of putting our little greetings in the center, you could put your greeting down at the bottom if you have a taller, taller uh, frame than mine. So I covered up what was in this frame. I used the crumb cake cardstock. I believe that measures four and one eighth inches and then the white is four inches. I die cut a couple of this wreath out of our Forever Greenery Designer paper. And then this brown one is from our In Good Taste paper pack, which has a lot of wood grain and natural prints. So I did two of this Forever Greenery one. I put one on the bottom, then I put this one with the wood grain. Now let's take a second and put this one on. Whoa, my glue is juicy. Give me one second. So you can, a couple of ways you can put these on. If you want to, you can use our adhesive sheets, which make it really nice. It will turn this into one big sticker and you can just stick it on really easily. Or I find that if I just put, especially with this wreath with the big leaves right here, if I just put one little tiny drop of glue on each little leaf, it doesn't take very long and they stick really well. So we'll get this put on and then we get to do the fun part, which is see kind of the end result of all of this. So press that down and let it sit for a second till that sticks. So start to talk about all of these. Do you see all these fun things we have right here? I use the stamp set to stamp the different images. I use the dies to cut them out. And once they were stamped and cut out, I did put some of them together. So I glued together two of the Easter eggs. I glued together two of the little hearts. Same thing with the leaves. After that was done, I used some Velcro on the back. I got these little dots of Velcro that you can get at uh, pretty much any store anywhere, uh, craft stores or just general stores. So I put the, let's see, the I think this is the hook side, the harder, stiffer side. I trimmed them into four pieces and a quarters because these were too big, they were gonna show. So I trimmed them into quarters and I put a quarter of that stiffer side on the back of each one of these. I, on the backs of the greetings, I did a whole piece because they would fit. And I cut a piece of felt to stick them to. So this is gonna be my storage area for all of the season's pieces that I'm not using at the time and it fits into one of our stamp cases. So this is gonna be a great way to store these when they are not in use. Okay, now that our wreath is mostly staying in place, let's finish this up and then we get to see the end result. So this is the softer side of the Velcro. This is the side I'm gonna put onto my frame so that they will stay attached. I'll put one big one in the center 
and then I'll lay these out to see if I get check my spacing before I actually put them on but I'm going to put five around the wreath which will be the little pieces that we can attach our fun little die cuts to okay so checking the spacing is good I would not have had those very well spaced so we're going to do this and now I just need to peel that backing off and stick each one on where I want it. And I cannot wait to see the end result right here for this video is going to be the first time I see this all put together. So I'm pretty excited. Okay, there's our fourth one and our last one. Okay, so which season should we look at? Here, I've got a little fluffy. I'm going to shake that off. Okay, which season should we look at? Okay, Christmas is coming up. I don't want to forget about Thanksgiving, but Christmas is coming up, and I'm loving these poinsettias. So let's do Christmas first just to take a look so you can see how it's just really easy to pop these off of that little storage felt sheet and pop them into the frame. Look at that. Okay, this one doesn't want to stay. I don't think I had it on very well. Look how cute that is. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, let's switch it out. Let's look at a different season. And... When you pull these off, I'm gonna say, make sure your Velcro gets stuck down really well to your frame. This one was wanting to pull off a little bit when I lift it up on it. So push those down really, really well so they don't want to pull up on your wreath when you go to switch them out. So let's look at one other one. Okay, it's fall right now. So let's put our fall one together and then I'll be able to have this ready to display in my house. I love leaves. This is gonna be so pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so fun, I love this. Okay, so the Arrange a Wreath Bundle is how I made this. I hope this video really helped you to see a really neat way you can use it for something to display in your home. Or like I mentioned, this is an awesome gift idea. So thanks for joining in today. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. I hope to see you again next time and I hope you have a wonderful day.